day one of the line diet. Not much to report. I haven't even been able to eat yet. It's almost 3 p.m. I'm on my way to go pick up my son from school. Uh, I was with my daughter at a GI specialist earlier, and we had to walk there, and it was kind of far, so my day basically revolved around walking places and walking home, and now walking somewhere else. So I'll probably get to eat around 4, 4.30. I have a pound of 80-20 ground beef, and I'll probably do three to four burger patties. I'm not sure. It really depends on how I feel. I'll probably cook all four and just see how it goes. Um, what else? So yeah, not much to report. Haven't eaten yet, but uh, so far so good. Hey, this is Tears of Long Time No See. Decided to make a video because um, Larry and Cassie of Carnival Quest had issued a challenge, if you could call it that. They're very relaxed and amazing people. And um, they're having a June challenge for um, the Lion Diet. I was on the fence. I didn't know if I wanted to do it. It's already June 2nd, so I missed a day. But um, I was considering doing BB&E for 60 days and following that with... Um, Jeez, the lion diet for 30 days and it never came to fruition I never did it um, I've been lapsing and falling off the wagon and about seven weeks or so now or going on seven weeks I've been doing ketovore and I actually haven't lost any weight now I have noticed the inflammation in my face in my um, feet and ankles and all has gone down completely my blood pressures were amazing after week one so and by amazing I just mean they're normal <laughs> Um, so I don't know what the deal is weight wise, but it's whatever. Um, but since about the end of March, I've been getting these, um, what I thought were bug bites, but I now learned are some kind of like rash or hives. I've been getting them and I can't figure out what it is. I'm not really allergic to that many things. I'm allergic to uh, naproxen, I believe, latex and elastic. And, um, I just learned in February I was allergic to some, a certain type of antibiotic. That's it. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Pardon my French there. I just don't know what's going on and it's really uncomfortable. I haven't been sleeping. Um, that is not what this heart monitor thing is about. That's just, um, they like to check up on me every once in a while because of the PVCs and all the other heart issues I've been having um, for a long time. Um, it's just for information. I don't really have anything going on right now. Thank God. Um, but anyway, I thought, what's the, what's the better elimination diet? bb and &E is awesome for elimination diet, but lion diet, you're eliminating everything. Water, salt, and beef. That's it. So, I said, you know what? I couldn't make up my mind whether I was going to do it or not, but I'm doing it. And I'm going to make a quick video every day. Each day that I do it, I'm going to commit to 30 days of lion diet. I already made my little video while I was walking to get my son um, for day one. Um, if you can hear that crackling, that is my burger patties that are currently frying in the fat from the ground beef that I already just cooked up. It is almost 4 o'clock, so I think I was right in my assessment that I was going to eat between 4 and 4.30. And um, I will let you guys know how it's going, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, starting weight right now is 2.12. When you do these types of diets, measurements is probably the best thing to do. But I believe the last time I came to you guys, I weighed 164 pounds, I believe. Um, and I thought I could do some planned meals, and it had worked a couple of times, but no. This girl needs to be an abstainer. I have to realize that some of these things I just can't have. I have no control. Um, I, I had control a couple of the times, and I thought, yay, yeah, 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 see, I can do it. Mm -mm. So, 212. I've been 212 for like forever now. Um, so maybe this can kickstart it. I don't know. I haven't done measurements because it's been real. Like it's, it's one thing the weight. I've yo-yoed my weight all the time, but I didn't always check my measurements. So to see like this part up here was 29 and the lower part was 34. And now I, I, I just don't want to see what it is. I know that the, that's actually a better marker. Um, and you may see movements in your measurements more than in your weight, especially with a 30 day challenge. But uh, maybe next time. So I'm thinking maybe I will follow up. Let's see how this goes. The 30-day line diet. And maybe then do 60 days of bb and &E. Which is beef, butter, bacon, and eggs if I didn't say. Um, yeah. So wish me luck.
Okay, y'all, it's day two of the lion diet. And actually, I um, was watching a show of intention on for yesterday, and I decided that I'm going to semi participate in all of the challenges that are going on for June in our community, which is Carnivore Quest doing the lion, lion diet. Uh, Sean's, which is non scale victory. So, I'm still gonna weigh myself probably once a week, but I'm not gonna talk about it online whatsoever. And I will probably make videos once a week with the update, but since I'm not gonna post this until I guess July 2nd, it's the month of June will be over at that point. And then Southern Cutivore has a walking challenge. I believe she is going to do 15,000 steps a day. I don't think that I can commit to that. So I'm going to go with 10,000. So that's where I stand right now. And like, I hope the lion diet helps me because whatever this is with my skin, I can't stand it. Like, right now, I have chapstick on. But my lips are very red. It looks like I have lipstick on. I have clear shea butter on my lips. That's it. But my lips are like kind of numb and they're all red. It's real weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm over it. Last night I had a hard time too. Um, I drink a lot of water normally. Not a lot, a lot because I get um, heart palpitations. But I drink like four of these a day at minimum. <clears throat> Um, but the last two days it was kind of hot. Like even today, right now it's only 70 degrees, but it's very humid. So I feel hot even though it's only 70 degrees. Sorry. So I brought water with me this time during the walk. Although see, I don't ever want to sip when I'm walking. It's so weird. But I don't know if I was dehydrated, even though I drank a ton of water the last two days. But TMI, like my urine was dark and there wasn't a lot. And I'm the type of person that I pee a lot. So it made me concerned. Like, you know, they always scare you that your kidneys are going to fail and you're eating too much protein, yada, yada. So that, like, freaked me out a little bit. But we'll see. I'm going to do this first. This is my water. And it's got a very little bit of um, element in it. Not a whole packet. Like, probably a third. I still have some left from when... I went to Florida in February. <clears throat> anyway, my daughter was actually with my 18 year old and I'm like, well, for a day you don't have to go to work, you're, all, you're up awfully early. She's like, yeah, I went and got Duncan at 7 a.m. and now I'm like wired. And I said, oh, well, I'm gonna go take my walk because I'm, I'm doing a challenge, I'm doing the lion diet and I want to take 10,000 steps a day. And she was like, what is the lion diet? So I said, well, you basically just have salt water and beef and she was like, oh, well, that's not that much different than what you were doing when you were doing keto. And I said, well, I can't have cheese or butter or dairy. And she's like, oh, that stinks. And I said, and I can't have coffee. And she went, oh, no, we we can't do that. We can't not do coffee. And I was cracking up because I'm like, you're 18 years old. You should not be addicted to coffee. That's crazy. See me, I, I love, I like coffee a lot. And I like tea. But it, I was always a water drinker. Like, even though I used to be 330 pounds, I would drink soda here and there, but I wasn't like someone who drank my calories except for iced coffees, frozen coffees from Wawa, the mocha frappe, yeah, those had a ton of calories and a ton of sugar, <clears throat> and that would be, I guess, technically liquid calories that I consumed that were terrible, but I was never like juice or any of that stuff, so for me... For now, I mean, this is only day two, I think I'll be fine with no coffee. I like, I just like the flavor of it. But the truth of the matter is I did BB and E, I think at one point about 40 days. And even though I was doing the egg and butter, cause couldn't have the heavy whipping cream, I never really liked it. And it kinda, I still need like heavy whipping cream and a little bit of monk fruit or stevia or a combo of monk fruit and stevia. I need, it doesn't even have to be like a lot of sweet, just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. So 
maybe this is like a blessing in disguise just to eliminate it completely and see how it goes. Anyway, it's about, sorry, I'm a mess. This is why nobody watches my videos. It's 8.51 a.m. So I haven't eaten or anything like that yet. I was trying to get out here earlier. It just didn't work out. I mean, all my kids are home and everything. So you just can't run out the door so easily. And yeah, so I'm gonna take the walk. I probably won't get 10,000 step, 10, steps for this walk. Maybe I'll get about 4,000 and hopefully just doing my chores and walking around for the day and then maybe tonight I could take another walk. Although, it's Philly, I don't recommend. <laughs> but I'm, I just may do that. I can't hop on my trampoline and get the steps because that thing sucks. It, I spent so much money, the tarp always breaks. It says it has 300 pound limit. Um, even with my weight gain now, I'm not 300 pounds. And even when I had gotten down to 155.6, the things would break and I'd be sewing it and all this stuff. It's too much. I love it though, but I have to win the lottery and get like a really good one, like the cellular size or something. Anyway, I'll leave you guys here. That's all I kind of want to say. I'm taking my walk. I'm going to do all three challenges, although my way, a little different. And uh, hopefully it all turns out well. Good morning, it is 7.20 a.m. Sunday, June 4th, 2023. I am taking my little walk. It is actually only 56 degrees outside, so it's got a nice little, you know, chill, feels wonderful. But it's also slightly humid, so despite this leisure walk, I've got a little sweat sheen because it's humid despite being 56 degrees. Um, yesterday I forgot, I ate the same food except I did wind up having four burger patties and a pound of 80-20 ground beef. Today I am going to have, um, uh, there's a store that's local to me that I can walk to, a grocery store. It's called Acme, some places it's called Albertsons. They're a little pricey, but they have a 4 for 20 meat special. And depending on what they have there, sometimes that can be a really good deal. So today I'm actually gonna have some ground beef and some steak. Don't ask me what cut of steak it is. I don't have the foggiest idea, but I'm gonna have some steak and I'm gonna have ground beef. Um, the salted water and having a little bit of with me did help me a little bit with whatever this issue is with my TMI talk yesterday, but um, I'm getting there. Uh, so it is only day three, so technically I've only had two lion diet meals. So I think it's too early to tell if anything's different. I don't think that there's anything different, honestly. Yesterday I was really tired. My body was like, just not right. I don't think it has anything to do with the lion diet. I, um, my female time is due in a couple of days. And with the adenomyosis and the fibroids, that time right before always is a little weird. Um, so I don't know. I think it's too soon to tell. I can say that I am not hungry. Um, as far as my meals go, I'm quite satisfied, but I am, even though the, the portion looks not that big for one meal a day, it is like almost 2,400 calories though. So, and I don't even know if that includes, when they when you buy the meat, I don't even know if that includes the rendered fat when, because the fat's already in the meat. So if anyone knows, let me know. Um, because I'm eating, I'm draining some of the rendered fat, but I'm still eating a lot of it. I'm actually really enjoying the taste of it. And it hasn't affected number two. So I don't think I'm getting too much fat from it that it's making me sick or anything like that. Um, what else? Oh, I suffered really bad since about 14 years old. Actually, I've had issues since I was like seven years old, let's be real. Always, my whole life, it's a hot mess. Everyone in my family, they kind of don't even take me seriously. They make fun of me, even though I have like legit, a lot of the times it's legit. Some of it is like, who knows? But I did have super bad anxiety starting at 14. It made me practically agoraphobic. Since my right frontal lobe surgery that removed a mass, that anxiety has gone down tremendously. So it may have been that the right frontal lobe mass was affecting that um, uh, because you know serial killers have 
masses in their right, run, right frontal lobe. That's comforting, isn't it? I don't even want to kill a mouse, so thank God it didn't affect me that way. I do notice that the last couple of days, and it may have even been before I started the lion diet, my anxiety has been really peaked. Like, it's a little bit more of a higher level right now, um, which is weird. And I don't know if anyone else has gone through that. So I hope this helps with that as well. Um, yeah, I don't want to make these too long because if it's 30 days, this video will be like two hours long when I put it all together. That's a little silly. So basically, I'm going to try to get my steps in. So I already went to the store this morning, dropped everything off at my house, taking a walk at the park, go home, take a shower, go to church. Then I'm going to eat something because I'll definitely be hungry by then. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and that this challenge is going well, whichever one you decided to do. Bye. Day four, lion diet. Day five of the lion diet. Day six of the lion diet. Lion diet, day seven. Day eight. Day nine. Day 16. Day 17. Happy Father's Day. Day 23 of the Lion Diet, we are in the final stretch. Hey, it's Teresa. I just wanted to give an update on my 30 days on the Lion Diet. So when I started this challenge 30 days ago, I weighed 212 pounds and today I weighed 202 pounds. I, uh, you will see throughout the video, uh, weights on the scale. I was getting weight on Fridays. I got weight this Friday, but I did not record it and I did weigh 201.6, but I wanted to do today's weight because that really concluded the 30 days for the challenge. So I'm back up to 202 and I'm okay with that because basically I've been sitting at 212 forever. In February, I went to Florida for a wedding. We were there about 11 days. Three days was with wedding activities and the other days were with my family. We went to Disney World. Uh, I stayed keto the whole time I was there and I did a really great job. Like I did the best I could. I even used walmart.com and had water and butter and beef sticks and everything delivered to my um, hotel area uh, to stay on track. Uh, the last two days though, we did have a planned outing to this place called Beaches and Cream where we get this big Sunday thing called the, everything with the kitchen sink or whatever, the kitchen sink. Um, so that was my downfall because in the last two days of the Disney trip, I ate whatever. And then I took that home with me for two more days. So I was off plan for four days and I gained a ton of weight just in four days. Then it took me like four to six weeks just to get back down to the 212 from those four days and then um, I stayed at 212 and then it was my birthday um, in April and it, my birthday fell on Good Friday so I figured what the heck I will just cheat um, today and during the weekend be off plan and then I'll get right back on it and it shouldn't be a big deal 
well it wind up being that the binge monster the food addict sugar addict roared its ugly head so I did not stop until the 14th so actually I did a whole seven days eating like a nut and I gained about 21 pounds in seven days and it took me forever to get back to 212 and then I just sat at 212 and sat at 212 so 10 pounds this month is actually really excellent it gets me closer to wonderland and further away from 212 which my body seems to just want to be stuck at for some reason in this go around i don't know if it's because i'm getting older or what's going on but i've always been a very 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 high um like i gained very rapidly but i also lost fairly quickly not as quickly as i gained but in the grand scheme of things not bad but now it's like i gain even faster but can't hold the weight up anymore which is a little disturbing I know a lot of the weight is actually water weight because one of the times I gained like 46 pounds this was back in like October November and I had to go to the hospital and it came up that um, my marker put me that I might have had heart failure um, because the majority of that weight was probably just water retention and that's not good to do that like these giant leaps in a short period of time um, so I have to be really careful so as far as the challenge is concerned, I stayed on Lion Diet the whole time. I'm very proud of myself. The only day I didn't was the day I was admitted into the hospital. And I stayed carnivore. I had um, eggs, turkey bacon, and uh, full fat, I believe, Greek yogurt. I'm not sure if it was full fat or not, um, but it, Greek yogurt. And then I had that meal twice, that same exact meal. I just ordered the same thing twice for that day while I was in the hospital. So that's the only day that I was not on Lion. Um, now today I started doing the BBB and E challenge and I will be doing that for 60 days and I will probably do a video the same way I'm doing this. It's going to be a long video but I'm going to compile all my videos, my pictures, uh, my skill, everything just into one video for 30 days. So um, I'll put this video out with these results. I should have took measurements today for BBB and E. I didn't do it. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, because sometimes that's going to show me more than the scale is, especially um, when you're doing carnivore. Um, sometimes you see measurement changes more than you see scale changes, but we'll see. But I will break it down the first 30 days of um, triple B&E, and then I'll do another video after I do the second 30 days of BB, B&E, and, and then I'll see where I'm going to go from there, and what I think is I'm going to kind of stick to those foods and probably add sardines, macro herring, or whatever into the mix. Um, going forward but we'll see I gotta see how this goes um, health wise it's been a little bit of a disaster this month it has nothing to do with the lion diet or keto or carnivore it's just um, how it is and I wish because you hear about the lion diet like people you know putting into remission and crazy autoimmune diseases that are completely debilitating and even can kill people and that they're symptom free um, mind you 30 days may not be enough time but I still kind of am suffering from all of the same things, except for IBS, because I haven't gone to the bathroom. I think I went twice this whole month. I don't think that's really good. So I'm looking forward to adding the fat and seeing if that gets things moving with putting in the butter for the beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Um, TMI, sorry, but... Uh, also, when I was admitted into the hospital, they had me there as a stroke protocol, but really, I'm, what I'm thinking is going on, I'm not sure because I can't see neurology until December 18th. The ER has me scared because, I mean, has the ER ever called you to follow up, to see if you followed up? That's never happened to me in my life of going to the emergency room, and they've now called me twice since I was there and was let go on June 11th. And uh, to ask me how come I haven't seen neurology and June 16th, I mean, June 8th, eh. December 18th is too far away and if I have any headaches to go back to the emergency room immediately and I'm like I've never heard of this before and they're scaring the crap out of me great but what I did learn on my MRI is that I knew back in November 2019 when I was having issues then they thought I had IIH which is um, idiopathic intracranial um, hypertension or pseudotumor um, was that the mesh had moved around and did a little bit of damage from my previous surgery when I had brain surgery back in January of 2002. But this time it said where I had my brain surgery, where I guess the tumor was, is now filled with fluid. And when I look that up, it's saying that that can cause neurological issues. I find that very interesting. 
um, because I wonder if a lot of the symptoms that I'm having and the problems I'm having are related to that and that it's just wreaking havoc on me but I don't know I know some of it I have a statin intolerance because my heart starts to act crazy every time I've been on a statin and ugh. so my doctor now put me a statin intolerant and I go see the cardiologist again uh, July 7th so we'll see what she says because um, now they're trying to get me on like an injectable medicine or whatever and I want to just tell them no and see what happens they sent me out, I included the imaging for my uh, calcium artery, or the CAC score, I don't want to say it wrong, and it was zero, and um, they did see um, degeneration in my thoracic spine area though, so, you know, guys, health is all you have, really take care of yourself, people don't think about their weight, but like, I'm only 43 years old and I have osteoarthritis in my knees. My legs bow out now. They're they're not in the correct alignment. Uh, my feet have prolapsed. I now my feet collapse, um, so I have problems. I'm having problems with my ankle. I've got to go get an X-ray on that. Just you don't realize. And now probably like parts of my spine are arthritic, and all this and that. And the only thing I can figure that that reason why that happened is because of my weight and also the acceleration of the weight gain because I was told that's why I had my effusion in my knee was because that was the time period where they thought um, my, my numbers came up that I might have some heart failure back in um, October November because I was down to 188 and I jumped up to 245 in four and a half weeks 188 to 245 because I guess I was full of fluid um, because like 20 pounds of that came off the first week I went back on to uh, keto war. So like that kind of weight so quickly on your frame is just not good. Um, so I just hope that everyone out there takes care of themselves. I'm going to keep pushing forward. It's a fight for life. Um, now that I know that you got to treat this as um, more like an addiction, I'm trying to do better. Uh, because I keep thinking I got the hand on this and then I make the same mistakes over and over and over and over and I'm getting really tired of it. I'm not getting any younger and I'm not getting any healthier and uh, yeah, so I'll let you guys know how I do in this next challenge. So I'm doing BBB and E and I'm also going to do 10,000 steps I'm going to try per day in July. Uh, so that's my challenge there. Oh, speaking of the steps that was also part of my challenge was not to talk about my weight for the month of June to do the lion diet and to get 10,000 steps in a month I had about three or four days this month I'll, it's all the steps are all included in this video it's all gonna be compiled together and this video is gonna be totally trashed and trash and just a mess but it's all in there there were about four days I didn't make it at all one of which was the day I was in the hospital you can't really walk anywhere in your room um, the other day was my daughter's um, graduation. She graduated high school and we traveled to Westchester University for that and I mostly just sat in the car, then sat in an auditorium and then sat in the car, then sat in the car again later to go to the restaurant and then sat in the car to go home. So I really didn't do much. Uh, one of the days I had like vertigo where I was lightheaded all day and I never even left my room. I got up once to eat and once or twice to go to the bathroom. So that was like the worst, I got like no steps. And then there was a couple of days where I just almost got to 10,000 but didn't. But I still consider that I achieved my walking goal for June of 10,000 steps per day because I averaged 12,007 steps per day when you averaged all of the days in because some of the days I did amazing, like shocked myself. Um, but that's it because this is getting super long. This video is gonna be like a half hour long, which is absolutely insane. Bye guys.